Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss heavy water, D2O, and how we would have to adapt the pH scale to apply to it. We recall that there are three naturally occurring isotopes of hydrogen. By far the most common, we call ordinary hydrogen or hydrogen one, and this simply has one proton. And since we count a proton as weighing one, we say it has an atomic weight of one also. The second isotope of hydrogen has one proton and one neutron. Since we have an approximate weight of a proton and neutron, each being one, since it has one of each, it has an atomic weight of two. And it is this particular isotope, which we call deuterium. From the Greek root meaning second. So we also use the chemical symbol very often for this of D. The third isotope of hydrogen is for sake of completeness has a atomic weight of three because it has one proton and two neutrons. We recall that ordinary water, water made from the most common isotope of hydrogen, hydrogen one, has the property that it auto ionizes so it breaks up into H plus and OH minus ions. But it does this to a very small degree at 25 degrees centigrade. And the equilibrium constant for this reaction, we recall, has the convenient value of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Now we can also synthesized water where we replaced the ordinary hydrogen with deuterium, the other isotope of hydrogen, and D2O we call heavy water. Heavy water also has the property that it will auto-ionize. It'll break up into deuterium plus and OD minus, so the deuterium analog of the hydroxyl ion. This reaction has an equilibrium constant, which we'll write as KD2O. So this is the analog of KW for deuterium. And this has the value at 25 degrees centigrade of 1.35 times 10 to the minus 15. So it is a smaller value. Uh, we may or may not notice that in chemical reactions, when we replace hydrogen with deuterium, we can determine if the rate limiting step of the reaction involves the abstraction of hydrogen because it takes more energy to remove deuterium from a bond than it does hydrogen due to the zero point energy effect. So if we see a difference in the rate of the reaction, then we know that the hydrogen is involved in the rate limiting step. So this isotopic labeling is a a uh, key tool that organic chemists in particular and biochemists use to determine the mechanisms of reactions involving hydrogen. We can use this reaction to determine the concentration of deuterium ion in a neutral solution of heavy water, just as we could use the first equilibrium constant expression to determine the concentration of hydrogen ion in a neutral solution of ordinary water. So exactly by analogy, the equilibrium constant for heavy water is the concentration of D plus times the concentration of OD minus. And we know that this is equal to the ion dissociation constant, which here we've labeled as KD2O. And we know that this is equal to 1.35 times 10 to the minus 15. And exactly by analogy with the same expression for 
ordinary water, we do not write the concentration of D2O in the denominator since it is a pure liquid, and we reason that its concentration doesn't change appreciably due to ionization. So our next step is we'll let a variable X be equal to the concentration of deuterium ion in the solution. So it's equal to D plus. But we also realize that in the auto ionization of heavy water, that for every one ion of D plus we make, we also make exactly one of OD minus. So therefore the concentration of OD minus will also be equal to X. Now we substitute our variable X for first D plus, then OD minus. So X times X is simply X squared. And this is equal to our equilibrium constant, which is 1.35 times 10 to the minus 15. So X is simply the square root. We take the square root of each side. And we determine that X is equal to 3.674 times 10 to the minus 8. So the concentration of D plus, which is the first thing that we wanted to find out, is equal to 3.674 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. And just as a point of comparison, we recall that the concentration of H plus in a solution of pure ordinary water is going to be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. We recall that in solutions of ordinary water, we can define a function called the pH, which by definition is the negative log of the concentration of H plus in that solution. So exactly by analogy, we can define a new function, PD, where this is the negative log of the concentration of D plus in the solution. So what we'd like to do now is to figure out what PD is going to be in the case of a solution of pure heavy water. So we've already determined the concentration of D plus. So the PD is going to be the negative log of 3.674 times 10 to the minus 8. And we see in this case that the PD is going to be equal to 7.435. And recall that we can compare that. So see if it's from a Latin phrase meaning to compare that the pH of a Klobin solution would be 7. So in the case of PD, it's going to be 7.435 for an exactly neutral solution. Perhaps also by analogy, we can look at the pOH and recall that this is the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide ion in a pure solution of ordinary water. And now we're going to see if we can define POD, which we'd imagine is going to be the negative log of the concentration of OD minus. But we already know that OD minus has exactly the same concentration as D plus does. So the POD is going to be the minus log of 3.674 times 10 to the minus 8. And we get that the POD for a pure solution of heavy water is going to also be 7.435. And again, we can compare that to the case for pure water, where the pOH would be equal to 7. For our final comparison between ordinary water and heavy water, we recall that we can derive the relationship for ordinary water, that pKW is equal to pH plus the pOH. 
which we recall has a total of 14. So let's see if we can derive a relationship similarly for the PKD2O. Well, recall by definition that the KD2O is the concentration of deuterium plus times the concentration of OD minus. So now we take the logarithm of each side. So we get that the log of KD2O is equal to the, now we take the log of a product, which is the sum of the logs. So this gives us the log of D plus plus the log of OD minus. In fact, the reason why logarithms were invented originally, the natural logarithms, was to replace difficult multiplications by the less complicated addition. So our next step is to multiply through by minus 1. So that gives us the minus log of KD2O is equal to the minus log of D plus plus the negative log of OD minus. But we recognize this expression, the negative log of KD2O is simply the PKD2O. The negative log of D plus is the PD, and the negative log of OD minus is the POD. And we notice if we add these together, the total is 14.87. Now as a final check, we can use the fact that the P K D two O is the negative log of the equilibrium constant for the K D two O. So this is the negative log of one point three five times ten to the minus fifteen. And if we take that logarithm, we find that it is exactly fourteen point eight seven. So our parallel between heavy water and ordinary water is complete. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.